What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here and in this video we're going to be going over how to make the new mobile G3 Plus faster. So without further ado, let's get started. So you're going to start by pulling down the shade here, going to the settings gear icon, then scrolling down, and then you're going to tap on system. Then from there you're going to go to about phone, and then scroll down a little bit and you'll see build number. Tap on build number a bunch of times until you activate developer mode. Now that developer mode has been activated, you need to go back and now you'll see developer options. You're going to then tap on developer options. You're going to scroll down until you see the animation settings. So it's a little bit of ways down here. So we have window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. So by default, they're all set to 1x, but you can see when you tap on any of these, you have a variety of different options. So you have the one extreme, which is to turn the animations completely off, and you have the other extreme to set the animations at 10x. So we're going to start by putting these on 0.5x to see what difference that makes. And you might have already noticed that it is making a little bit of a difference. So there are less animations, at least, you know, half the amount of animations as before. And a lot of functions of the device just run a lot quicker. So like starting up the camera, there's less of a delay here because you don't have to wait for the animations. Opening up folders like this is a lot quicker as well because the animations are twice as fast. Same thing goes for pulling up the app drawer here and pulling it down and just doing any functions like that. Same goes for opening up the recent applications, clearing those out, and everything like that. So you can see that by just doing that small change there, you're able to speed up the device quite a bit. Now let's go back to the settings and go back to system again, go back to developer options, and then go down to the animations again. And then we can also set these to animation off. So of course, when it's set to animation off, there won't be any animations at all. So you can see this is extremely quick. I mean, things are flying here. Setting up the cameras really quick, opening up any sort of folder or app drawer is really quick, and it really does speed up things really dramatically. So you can see that's what happens when you turn off the animations on the device. It just makes everything really quick. Now, of course, we do have that option as well to slow things down. So we'll go back to the animation settings again, and we'll set it at 10x. And you can see just how slow this makes everything. I mean, this is ridiculous. I don't know who would want their animations to be set at 10x, but if for some reason you're really into animations, then there you go. You always have that option. I mean, it's barely even usable at this point, just for how slow it takes for everything to open. And there's just no way that there really be any practical situation where you'd want this setting to be implemented. But it's there, so if you do want it for some reason, you do have that option, but that is just extremely slow. Now we'll go back to the settings, and we'll go over to developer options again. And I think really the sweet spot for the animation speeds is 0.5x, so you get it to be a little bit quicker than the default setting, but at the same time you still do get some animations, and I think that's really the best of both worlds here. So that's what I recommend setting it at, but of course if you're fine with the way it is by default then go ahead and keep it that way, or you can completely turn the animations off, or if you really want to, you can set the animations to 10x, it's up to you, it's really up to your personal preference. Now you can always reverse this of course by going back to 1x, and also, you can remove this whole developer options menu by simply factory resetting your device. So you can really do whatever you want here, and it's really your personal choice. But that concludes my video on how to make the new G3 Plus faster. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you want to buy this device, then take a look at the link in the video description, as it'll take you over to where you can get this on Amazon. But with all that said, thank you for watching. This is Kevin Breeze here, showing you how to make the new G3 Plus faster, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye.